what's going on everybody back again with another video for you guys and today we're bringing you guys my post game thoughts on the Packers versus Vikings game or the Vikings versus Packers game dude shout out to the Vikings they won this game at the end one ended up winning the game by seven I believe 20 to 13 or something along those lines Cordell Patterson you know he had a chance to really seal the game for the Vikings they were up by seven he got a kickoff and he ran it back to the 20 yard line and gets stripped by Mason Crosby, dude. Like, how do you get stripped by the kicker, dude? Like, come on, dog. But Cordell Patterson, really good kick returner. Unfortunately, you know, he fumbled, got Rogers got the ball back, drove his team down. Drove his team down, dude. And then throws a pick to Terrence Newman, dude. And how is Terrence Newman still in the league, dude? Isn't that man like 35 years old? Like, you've got to be kidding me, dog. Anyways. I don't know, man. Like, anyways, so then the Packers get the ball back. Rodgers has one last chance, and he does, He tried to, like, do the same thing. Try to get that Hail Mary thing like they did at the Lions game where they threw it to Richard Rodgers, and he came down. But this time the Vikings had, the, I mean, the Vikings had a guy underneath Richard Rodgers, so, he, uh, you know, he, he, underneath and on top of him, so, you know, he didn't have a chance. So the Vikings win. They win the division, and the Packers get the five seed. And then on top of that, dude, I feel sorry for you Packers fans, dude. You guys have to go play the Redskins. The Redskins are hot, dude. They're probably the best home team this year. I mean, I know people say, oh, Seattle. Well, Seattle's not going to have any home games unless somehow, you know, uh, what's it called? Oh, wait, no, Seattle's a six seed. So, yeah, dude, Seattle's definitely not having any home games. I think the best home team in the playoffs are the Washington Redskins. And Aaron Rodgers is going to have a tough time playing them. Uh, you know, without Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb is beat up. I don't care what anyone says. And, you know, it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. A flip side, Vikings, you know, they got a tough test, man. They got the Seahawks. I mean, they spanked the Cardinals today. So, you know, I mean, you got to you gotta be, you gotta watch out. You know, I'm, t I'm probably going to take the Hawks. We'll see. But anyway, shout out to Bridgewater, man. He he played well, man. The guy, he's a second-year starter, and he's... People say, well, it's just, it's the Christian Ponder situation all over again. I definitely disagree with that. This guy's a different quarterback, man. He's a different breed, different style. And with Christian Ponder, it was, like, all AP. Like, with Teddy Bridgewater, you see him, like, you know, the team somewhat relies on him at times in the game. Like, when Christian Ponder was the QB and he took his team into the playoffs, one, Christian Ponder didn't even play in the playoff game. So, come on now. And so that's like, I mean, so who knows what happened. Probably would have got spanked, but whatever. And then on top of that, you know, AP was rushing for just mega yardage. I feel like this is a different Vikings team. You know, Anthony Barr is coming around, Everson Griffith. The two safeties are really, really good. Um, I don't think people give them enough credit. I think Harrison Smith's probably the best. He's probably, well, I'd say Earl Thomas is the best free safety. But, you know, this season, Harrison Smith's playing like the best free safety in football. Um, so, you know, you can't sleep on this team. Uh, the corners are somewhat weak, in my opinion. You know, like Xavier Rhodes and all them boys, you know, not, <laughs> no. They're definitely that's definitely a weak point there, but you know the Vikings still have a good D, and for the you know that's pretty much it. Uh, Adrian Peterson got the he led the league in rushing this year, so that's pretty dope. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and enjoy the rest of your day.